a okay hello friends welcome back to my channel today i want to do a video no duh i originally at the end of the year wanted to do a video called all the books i've read in 2021 that was going to be way too long because i am flying through books this year for some reason i mean i've always loved to read but i'm literally flying through them so i decided to split it up half and half so it is currently june so six months into the year half the half of the year and then i want to do it again at the end of the year if you understand what i'm saying i'm basically showing you all the books i've read in 2021 so far in the last six months so half the year this is all i've read that was a lot let's get into it these are not in the order that i read them i couldn't even tell you which book i read first the first book we have here is the diary of anne frank okay i love this book i mentioned this before in a different video or a vlog i love this book i was in the middle of rereading it and annotating it but i never finished it so like half the book is annotated and the other half isn't i will get to it again someday but i do love this book a five out of five star this book i cried at constantly it means a lot to me so i have read this book the next book i read was 99 percent mine by sally thorne basically i loved the hating game i needed more of her books and i read this i would give it like a 3.5 out of 5 stars i really liked the character of tom i don't know if it was just me but at the beginning in just certain parts it was just very hard to like understand what she was saying like i don't know how to describe her other than it was very jumbled it didn't make sense some of the grammar but i really like tom i like the way sally thorne writes like the men in her stories and then how the relationships form in her books so i still will be buying books from sally thorne i love her but i would say a 3.5 out of 5 stars the next three books i read oh my god we are in here all right i read the shadow and bone series by lee bardugo each book was a five out of five stars i love this series didn't think i would mal still has my heart i love mal well there's another character from her stories that we'll get to but i love these books i love the characters i still have an attachment to every single one of them so five out of five i read these three the next book i read was no offense by meg cabot I give this book like a one and a half, two out of five stars. I did not like this book at all. I didn't like any of the characters. I did not care. It just sounded really interesting when I read it in the bookstore. It was about like a cop, detective, what's his name? The sheriff. The sheriff and the librarian from a romance over this like series of two crimes. And it sounded really interesting. It was not, the relationship was forced. I didn't like it. I didn't like the writing style. It was very immature. I, I don't know. I just was not one redeeming thing. I don't want to be too harsh, but it just wasn't the book for me. If you liked it, that's cool. But it just wasn't my favorite. So for that, that's why I gave it that rating. But yes, I read this book. <laughs> the next book I read is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Okay, I watched the Netflix series first. And I love it. I don't know. I consider in the show dash as like my one of my comfort characters he was like my first ever comfort character or realized that he was my first ever comfort character i don't know if it's like the way he was written if it's austin abrams portrayal of dash i love austin abrams as dash but i read this book i give it a two out of five stars i thought dash and lily were both annoying i didn't think dash was as bad as lily but I, I just did not like the way these characters were. Lily was very immature for her age and I understand that they were supposed to be in high school but I just think she was very childish, very immature. I did not like her or how she was written and I did not like Dash. I thought Dash was very arrogant. It was not my favorite book and for that I had to give it two out of five stars. But I still love the Netflix series though. The next book I read is Anna and the Duke by Katherine Smith. Okay, I don't know. I thought this book, I found it on a random shelf at a used bookstore. I wanted to get it for fun. 
I read it. Would I read it again? No. It was just for fun and enjoyment. I gave it like a two and a half out of five. Nothing really interesting. It was like back in the day, medieval, not medieval, but like English ways. We had the Duke. It was okay. Not my favorite, but it was fun for the time. The next book I read was The Road by Cormac McCarthy. It's one of my older brother's favorite books. So going into it, I was like, okay, let's see. It was actually really good. I cried at the end of it. I was not expecting it, but it was definitely very good. I give it like a four out of five stars. It was not what I was expecting. I was pleasantly surprised. So yes. The next book I read was The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I think I read this before. I read it. It sounded vaguely familiar going through it. it wasn't anything too special. I gave it like a two out of five stars. I promise there's like other books I loved, but it, again, it was fun for enjoyment. A light, fluffy read. The next book I read was The Upside of Falling by Alex Light. I did not like this book. I thought it was forced. The relationship was kind of fake. Two out of five stars. I'm very sorry if you liked it, but I just didn't enjoy it that much. That's all I really have to say. It was a quick read though. That's exciting. The next book I read was The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I wanted to read this because it was so hyped. Everyone hypes this book up. I've seen the movie before. It wasn't my favorite movie. It was not my favorite book. There's quotes in here that I liked, but overall I didn't like it as much as I thought it would. I give it like a two and a half out of five stars. Maybe I missed something. That's about it. Um quick break in the video i was just scrolling through instagram shameless plug follow my instagram and shadow and bone had the audacity their official instagram account to post this picture of freddie carter it's fine it's fine Like my Ariana Grande t-shirt. I love Ariana Grande. The next book is Love the One You're With by Emily Giffen. Stop being overexposed. Yeah, I didn't like this book. I liked Something Borrowed and Something Blue that she wrote, but I did not like this book. But a lot of the quotes were stuff I didn't like. Basically, this character was my biggest nightmare. She is all the things I don't want to happen to me in life wrapped it in one so for this i have to give it like a two out of five would not recommend i'm sorry next we have the hating game by sally thorne five out of five hands down love the relationship love the way the relationship formed great read could not put it down love joshua templeman everything i want a man to be joshua templeman i love this book that is all thank you next book we have one Day in December by Josie Silver. I actually did like this book too. I give it four and a half out of five stars. I think the whole like thing with like, what's her name? Lori and Jack kind of cheating behind her best friend's back. That irks me. But other than that, it was great. I thought the ending was kind of cheesy, kind of lame, but I will recommend it. I want to read more of Josie Silver's books. Okay, this next book I read was called I Woke Up Dead at the Mall by Judy Sheehan. I picked this up at a used bookstore. Didn't think it was gonna be that good. I honestly had low expectations. This book was a five out of five. I sobbed at it. I liked the romance in it. It was so good and it took my breath away. It's literally a hidden gem that was on the bookshelf that no one was loving and I think it deserves literally more hype. It was so good, beautifully written. I loved it. I loved the story. I loved the message behind it. Five out of five stars. Next we have It by Alexa Chung. I might get hate for this. I actually really like this book. I gave it like a three out of five stars. The book kind of reminded me of me like writing in my journal. Like it wasn't anything of substance. She was just kind of like talking they were like journal entries but i actually kind of really liked it and the pictures were kind of cool i know this was like apparently a thing back in like tumblr back in the day but i don't know i kind of really liked it i'm glad i had it i know i bought it a while ago because i saw harry styles had it i finished it in like 30 minutes though and the next book is the wedding date by jasmine 
Gilroy. Um, I give this book like a 3 out of 5. I liked the relationship. I thought it was cute. I kept wanting to like come home from work and reading the book. It was just a cute, fluffy, enjoying read. I would like have taken it on vacation with me if I was going on vacation. Nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the next book we have is First There Was Forever by Juliana Romano. I didn't really enjoy this either. It was a fun, fluffy romance. I give it 2 out of 5. Very- if I was in middle school, I think I would have liked it a bit more. I thought the relationship between Lima and Nate was weird. I think she should have cut Haley off way, way in the beginning. Um, kind of toxic friendship, kind of a weird relationship. I read it, it's over. <laughs> I read Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. I like the trope of celebrity dating a regular person. I don't know, I didn't like this book. It was kind of weird. She meets him at a bodega, which was cool. I thought it was cool. And it was like how they met was really unique. But their relationship was kind of weird. And then they just like, spoiler, but they didn't end up at the end. So for that, I'd have to give it like a three out of five stars. But I finished it. It was okay. Next, I read Always and Forever, Laura Jean by Jenny Han. I had this forever. Finally read it before the third movie came out. It was a Laura Jean book, you know. Three out of five stars because Laura Jean is nostalgic to me. I used to love the first book and the first movie when it came out. Oh my god, okay. I read Can You Keep a Secret by Sophia Kinsella. At first, it was going well. This book, okay, I liked the trope it was going with about employee dating boss. She didn't know it was her boss at first and he came to visit. All of a sudden, it got weird. Like the boss took her on a date and it was this whole awkward like scene and it threw off the whole rest of the book. It was so awkward. I hate, it's the same with the Emily Giffen book. I hate when 30 year old women are written in the, that way that they're like awkward and clumsy and can't be loved and love to eat so much and they're hopeless. Like I hate how women write 30 year old women. I just hate how they make you they i just i didn't like it i give it like a two and a half out of five stars okay i picked this up because it was so so hyped up all online but it's the guest list by lucy foley i did not like this book i thought it kept dragging on like i just wanted to know who did it like it kept dragging on so long and I kept wanting to just, I, I'm that person, but I read the ending because I just couldn't, I read the whole book, but I read the ending halfway through it because I couldn't get over how slow paced it was. And it just was not my favorite. I give it like two and a half out of five stars. Not my favorite. Upset because it was kind of expensive, but you know. And the most recent book I have read. Oh my God, My Child, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I didn't think I was gonna like this book as much. Going into it, I was reading it and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, by the end of it, I was in love, okay? I love this book. I love Kaz Brecker. Ugh, I said it, I said it. I don't regret it. I love this book. I love seeing Kaz and Inej, their low-key love story and how Kaz, I love to see how he deals with feelings because he's such an intricate character. I loved Jesper and Wylan. I love Nina and Matthias. I love them all. I love all six of them. I really do. I also love seeing their backstories because in the Shadow and Bone show, they're put in. And I went into that show not knowing anything. And to see their backstories makes so much sense. I love this book, bro. I <laughs> the ending. Okay, the one point where Inej gets taken and Kaz is like, I'm going to get my money. And then he said, I'm going to get my girl. And I was like, Kaz, Kaz has feelings. I love Kaz Brecker, bro. I probably shouldn't, but I do. I love it. So yes, I read this five out of five, six out of five. So good. I could do a whole video on this, but I did it. So good. And okay, the current book I am reading. Well, I'm reading two. Right now, I'm reading Helter Skelter, which is a hefty book. I have been taking a break from it, but I'm going to be coming back to it. So far, it's a five out of five. It's one of my favorite reads of 2021. But I'm also reading Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. <laughs> 
Okay, I have to say, I'm, I go through her books very fast. I think it's just because I'm investing so much in her characters. I'm very excited. I don't want to like, I don't want this to end because then I finish Shadow and Bone and then I'm going to finish Six of Crows and all I have left is King of Scars. I'm not ready to say goodbye to any of these characters. I sound so dumb, but I love them. I love them all. It is such a good universe. I love the Grishaverse. I didn't think I would. I'm obsessed. It's so good. So, so far, also five out of five stars. And that was my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any good book recommendations, please leave them down below. But yes, that was my video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Eight, 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 eight. Bye friends.